This is solar blackout protection. Yep. Ross, what does this mean? Um, what this basically means is this box will enable your solar and battery system to keep supplying your house Oops. even when in this event of a blackout or mains power turns off. Mains power turns off. So your home experiences a blackout. We've spoken about this before in videos that uh, it's a safety requirement that your solar system and your battery will shut down during a blackout, yep. which sucks because you want to be able to use your battery and watch TV and keep the lights on during a blackout. So blackout protection is uh, an extra addition to a solar system that allows you to safely run your home from the batteries and solar during uh, a blackout when there's no lights. That's right. So a little tiny box here, but extremely important in keeping line workers and that safe. Um, it basically internally um, switches the home, completely disconnects it from the grid, the battery and solar system, and this little guy here, uh, safely keeps everything running until the grid comes back on again. And this, um, this basically runs cables from the switchboard through here, the circuits that we want to keep alive during a blackout, they will run through yeah. here, pretty much. And what are this, what's the capacity of this, Ross? So during a blackout, how much can a box like this, can it run the whole house, is it part of the house? Um, are there different models? That's a good question. That particular one there, that's by Sungro. So mm -hmm. it's a really popular one. It's got a do. button on the side. It's got a button on the side. You can actually trigger off-grid mode. So it says off-grid and it says on and off. What it basically does in that mode is even if the grid is still connected, you can hit the little button just to disconnect from the grid and essentially be off-grid um, should you choose to do so. Yeah. But that does bring me back to your question of what can it actually handle. Yeah. So the particular model here by SunGrow, and it's important to always check what the inverter is capable of. The inverter, this is the controller. The inverter is doing all the heavy lifting when the blackout protection mode actually kicks in. Mm -hmm. So the SunGrow can do about 3.6 kilowatts mm -hmm. in blackout. So pretty good amount, but so what's that in terms of lights and when you say 3.6 kilowatts, yeah. for those of us at home, what does that mean in terms of lights and power? What can I keep on with this? Well, lighting's pretty pretty efficient these days. So, you know, an LED is what? Um, so 3.6 kilowatts, that's 3,600 watts. Yeah. And an LED, these lights is what? 10 watts? Okay. 15 watts. So you keep on a lot of lights. You keep on a lot of lights. When we start getting to power usage, um, you've even still got a fair bit of fair bit of play there so TVs and fridges and that will all run quite easily from a from a blackout unit that can produce that power where it starts to fall over a little bit is when you're using equipment with pumps a lot of people have water pumps um, and that sort of thing off the grid off the grid that yeah. they want to use and water pumps don't use a whole lot of power but pumps and motors have a big startup current what about air cons would air cons have a pump in them would fridges have a pump in them air cons are a good one because you know, individually, they're not huge, you know, fridges and TVs and some air cons, they're not huge power hungry um, units. Mm -hmm. But when you add them all together, and people don't realize it adds up pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And you got the fridge on and then you chuck the air con on and stick the TV on. You can get pretty close to that 3,600 mark. Okay. So what you can do, this is a sort of an, I would call uh, uh, an entry level or a mid range blackout protection where what you're able to run from this from your battery would be your lights and a couple of power points would you say safely yep. so pretty much most of your lights and the tv fridges and freezers yeah would most would, would be okay if you started adding more air conditions and things like that uh it might overpower this thing and it might turn off 